Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the fourth and final video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for Cult of the Lamb. In the last video we'd gone through and defeated Calamar, the third boss in the game, and now are able to access the fourth area. And then like always we're going to go into details about what all you need to be doing and things like that. Now do note, you can get to the final point right before you fight the fourth boss and then just head back to camp, rinse, repeat, or go to the other areas for resources and things like that. You want to make sure that you're doing all of your side objectives that you can. If you haven't got all the fish, go do that now. If you haven't bought all the things from the shops, try and work on doing that now. You know, just whatever you can do, try and do it now before you get to the end of the game. Get all upgrades, get all, just get everything that you possibly can. As you can see here, we're at day 51. We had a bit of a struggle getting from um, getting getting from 30 to day 50 because I had to waste 20 days or so of just resetting um, my runs for Calamar as I would just get a bad start, take some damage, and then have to repeat. But we're now going to move on and head into the fourth area and fight the final boss of that and then move on to the fifth boss of the game. I don't know why I keep saying the fourth boss is the fifth boss or the final boss. Anyways, we're now just gonna move on, but yeah. All right, so one thing I should talk about is for some reason, some of the trophies are a bit glitched or bugged. And sometimes when you think you get them, they don't because I have I already had all the doctrines before I started trying to go for the Calamar fight and then it only just now popped up and gave it to me. So from what I'm assuming you might have to save and reset your whole game and just reload and then uh, or do some things and just play the game. Um, I will double check and if I happen to find something about it I will leave a uh, pinned comment at the top letting you know about it as certain trophies. Um, haven't popped yet for me, like the defeating Calamar and then defeating Calamar without taking damage, which I know I did, because it's recorded. <laughs> he didn't even get a, the chance to damage me, but moving on from that, like I said, you basically just want to be going through <clears throat> getting all of your stuff, you know, just do whatever you can to do that, so what I mean by that is, um, go through get all your upgrades um, unlock everything that you can you know just doing all that uh, will definitely come in handy um, me being the completionist that I am on certain games like this uh, I want to get everything because I'm just wanting to play it safe you know so if you can go to all the areas like I said um, all the shops and things like that buy everything uh, watch an old person die, of course, apparently. Sad day. Uh, watch everybody puke. While we go carry him away to uh, a safe little burial. And then clean up all this vomit. Because apparently nobody else here has the stomach for it. That's okay. Um, along the way, you should be trying to get as many followers as you can. Like I said, it's actually 20 followers you have to sacrifice instead of 10. That's my bad. My apologies. Like I said, another thing you want to be trying to do is get um, all of these upgrades. As you can see, I am almost at. I'm going to try and get the last refinery to upgrade even further. You know, all the good stuff. But yeah, uh, so now we're probably going to be moving on to the um, final boss. Or, why do I keep, I keep autopiloting into that? I don't know why. But we're actually going to move on to the fourth boss of the game. As you can see, I can now actually upgrade our refinery to make it even better. But yeah, we're now going to move on to the fourth boss of the game. And then from there, we're also going to move on to the actual final boss of the game. 
not including mini bosses of course because that's just that would make things longer as they're not needed for trophies yes they give you followers and things like that but you know another thing is when you're revisiting previous areas make sure that you're getting the eyes of a witness and um, giving them to the guy, the sailor guy here in Smuggler Sanctuary. So, do remember that. So, from here we can now head to uh, the fifth and final area and possibly unlock the last area that we'll need to unlock in the game. And that will also get us another trophy, which I will probably mention when it does happen. And we will probably also find the last person to play Knuckle Bones with. So yeah. Alright, so one thing I will mention to look out for on your runs is going to be the heart room. It'll look exactly like this. Now this is probably the one room that you might end up missing as it does contain a tarot card that you have to get. And it is going to cost you 100 coins. Now this is the last one that I have to get as I'll show you. <laughs> But as you'll see right here, once it finally goes into the book, 36 out of 36. This is the only one that you can, I think, obtain along your runs. The other ones are going to be obtained from doing certain things such as um, marrying your first follower, um, doing the side objectives, things like that, um, buying all the cards from all the shops. Just stuff like that will get you the cards. Um, I will leave a link to the wiki on this video so if you are wanting to double check and make sure you've gotten the car that you need from where it is I got you covered but now we're gonna be moving on to anything else of importance so yeah alright and up next is the fourth boss Shimura like always he's gonna turn into a big boss related to the area and that is spiders he likes to summon a bunch of minions and can have some quick landing blows But as you can see, just like that, he goes down without taking any damage to us. <clears throat> he didn't even get to summon any minions, which is quite surprising. Now one thing I will state and talk about though is the fact that um, there are a bunch of issues and bugs with um, cult, cult of the Lamb and that there are a lot of trophies that aren't popping for people as they're getting bugged. As um, if you're playing through the game, for some reason certain aspects of the game can just get glitched and then you have to basically either down patch your game or have to start a whole brand new save just to get the trophy to pop which is really annoying and frustrating but I figured I'd mention it I will also leave it as a pinned comment in case you don't watch all the way through to this point of the video so yeah it is it's really annoying now I will go over how you can actually refight the bosses in case the trophy does pop for you but you happen to take damage you will revisit the area I'm gonna skip this just for a moment so anyways if you want to refight any of the main bosses if you've been destroying the statues that you can steal um, devotion from, then you can easily uh, destroy it again once you are revisiting the area, and it will open up a red portal that will take you back to the boss fight. So if you want to do that, that's how you can easily reface, reface any of the bosses and uh, get the trophies for not taking any damage if you do happen to get the trophy for just fighting the boss if your game isn't glitched. Sadly, mine is, as I almost have everything in the game, and I've done almost everything in the game, and it's still not popping. So yeah. But now we can move on to the final boss of the game. 
Alright, so one thing I also forgot to mention and to be on the lookout for when you're on your crusade, similar to the heart card, is you want to find the shop that is selling food, and this will lead us to a mini boss, which will unlock one of the follower forms that you'll have to get. As you'll see here, it should look like this. Basically, all you're going to want to do is just be incredibly rude and cause rack shock. Rack I'm not even, you know what, I'm not even going to try it. Eventually, you're going to make him mad and then he'll want to fight you. <laughs> but when you defeat him, he will give you a statue that you will have to build and pray at. So basically what you do is if you pray to it at night, it will then give you the big monster um, follower headpiece. So once you do that, you can then finally um, get your last one. And then I will go over the snail specific ones as well. So when you're going through the second area, Anura, there are going to be five snail shells that you'll have to um, get and defeat. So don't forget to do that. You, can, you only need five snails, or five shells specifically. But from there, I'm going to show you where to go with those five shells so you can get the snail follower headpiece. So yeah. Alright, so, like I said, I'm going to want to build the specific structure. We'll just do it over here right next to this. Right next to our mushroom structure as well. And since it is pretty close to night time, I'm actually going to skip to when we can do that. Alright, now as you can see, we can finally pray at the statue. And in doing so, this is how you get the follower form for the big monster. So now we can move on to the snails. So once you have your five snail shells from running through the Anora area, you just have to go to all five of the unique areas outside of the Crusades, and that will allow you to use a snail shell at five specific statues. So the first one we can find at the Lonely Shack. If you come all the way over here, right behind this, you can find the statue here. Then we can go down to Smuggler Sanctuary. Along with the snail one, you'll also have to feed um, your followers poop. So you have to make anywhere from 18 to 20 different poop bowls. The second statue is right here. But that will probably be the last three follower forms that you might need to look up and figure out how to do. Next up is Pilgrim's Passage. But these were the last three that I had to do. Is uh, the big monster, the snail, and the poop. So in Pilgrim's Passage, Passage. If you come over here, it is right here in this area off to the side. You can't see it for some reason. I don't know why, but they don't want you to see it while you're over here. But it is on this left side. <clears throat> so now we can move on to Midas's cave. This one, just like the others, will be off on the left side. As you'll see right here, it's just chilling. Pretty straightforward. Then the last one is at Spore Grotto. This is just a small thing to probably want to keep an eye out for. Um, this is probably on me for not checking this sooner, so I do apologize for that. But once you're in Spore Grotto, you basically want to come inside and come here over to the left. And once you've given the last shell to a snail statue, then you will get your snail follower. So now we can move on to the final boss of the game.
All right, so now once you are fully ready and prepared, done everything that you want to do and all of that good jazz, you can finally come and take on the final boss of the game, the one who waits, or as his name is, Narender. All right, so now we'll just make our way over. You will need at least 20 followers to do this ritual. So if you haven't already got the trophy for it, or your game is glitched, then you'll have to do it on a, another save file, or downgrade your game. So, from here you now get the option to choose what uh, weapon you want, and of course getting a godly axe is amazing. You can always probably reset this or retry. We'll go for the damage. <clears throat> But you will have to face his two minions first before you can fight him, so do keep that in mind. I refuse. <laughs> Upon refusing, you will have to face. His champion. Now the reason why I'm not going for this without taking any damage is because my save is glitched and I won't even get the trophy for beating them. So that is why. It's more or less just to show off the bosses so that you know how to fight and beat them and see their patterns more or less. Of course we're not done. Are we ever done with final bosses? No, they always have to have multiple phases, of course.
Don't nobody calls me a coward. But once you have done that, we're done. We have beaten the game. If your game isn't glitched, then by now you should have just done your 20 sacrifices, gotten everything in the game, gotten all the trophies that you can in the game. And if your game is glitched, like I said, you will probably have to start a new save or downgrade your game by just full deleting it, reinstalling it, and then not updating it, and then checking to see if uh, that will work then. You should be able to keep your save for that. Um, so there is that. So yeah, but as always, this has been Mr. Pilgrim. I hope that these guys have been helpful or informative in some way, shape, or form, and that, I, as always, I will see you all in the next one.